Okay, this is the last of the four experiments I'm doing. For this one, I'm using this product, Big Tub of FOMO. Okay. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's uh, something I found on the internet. Um, the first one that I did was with plaster cloth. Okay. Second one I did was with sculpta mold, which is a you have to add water. Uh, but you get to mess around with a little bit more. The third one was uh, with tissue paper, um, or excuse me, toilet paper. And now this one was with sculpta mold, or I'm sorry, this uh, tub of foam. Um, I like this. I think this was by far, I think, the easiest to work with. This was essentially Play Doh. Um, and this allowed me to really push down in and get contours. And it is as moldable as the sculpt mold is, but easier. I found the sculpt mold because you're adding water and you're working with it. There's kind of like a um, variability of consistency that's just natural with that kind of approach. Uh, but with the sculpt mold, I could mold it and kind of get some contours and do some nice things. When I did the plaster cloth, yes so, it was or less so, it was more like a drywall job. Uh, shoving stuff down into the cracks and corners was a little uh, more difficult uh, just by the nature of the thickness of the, uh, the plaster cloth. The toilet paper approach I really liked because it uh, allowed me to dip down into the contours of the bed itself. Um, but, you know, it's a little bit tedious um, and I've still got to see how that dries and how that ends up doing. I've got to do that with all of these actually. But this, I mean, this was a handful. I just took a handful about the size of a cue ball and pushed it all down in there and uh, could work it um, to make the walls however I want, could get contours and things on the bottom of the riverbed. Um, I think I like this one best, but like I said, we got to see how they dry and uh, see how they work with the next part. So um, another update, checking out. Uh, catch you guys later.